Hi, I'm James Cathrall, founder of Cathrall Audio. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about troubleshooting, which is a scary one. You've got main stage all set up, you plugged everything in, you're ready to make sound, you go to push a key, and nothing. Radio silence. You get no sound, and now panic starts to set in. Trying to go through everything in your brain, make sure you got it all set up, and you kind of just randomly start pushing buttons, twisting knobs, digging through your concert, trying to figure out what's going wrong and how you can get sound as soon as possible as you feel everyone's eyes staring right at you and all attention is on you as you're trying to figure everything out. So that can be a really scary situation. So what I did is I created a flow chart so that you can have some structure as you're trying to figure out what's going on. Instead of just randomly going through different things and hoping you find it, you can go step by step through this guide and check everything off the list all the way until you get the bottom, which hopefully by then, you then should have sound out of your main stage concert and be good to go. All right, so let's take a look at this flow chart and start going through the steps. All right, so here's our flow chart from top to bottom. Start from the very beginning and go through each step. So it's gonna start out pretty basic and just go through the straightforward ones. But once again, this is just there to help in those moments of panic and help give you some structure as you can just start going through each of these and checking them off the list. So we start at the beginning and obviously we have no sound. That's sort of the first thing is, oh my gosh, I'm not getting sound. Next thing we wanna check is your keyboard plugged in. Look at the back of it, make sure the USB cable is in or the five pin MIDI cable is plugged in. And now we circle back to the top. Maybe we're still getting no sound. So now we say, is our keyboard plugged in? Yes, I just checked it. Next thing is check the connection and power switch on the back of the MIDI controller. So most MIDI controllers and keyboards will have some type of power switch on the back or maybe a button. You just wanna make sure that that's on just as a double check. And a lot of keyboards will usually have some sort of visual thing that makes it easy to tell if it's plugged in and turned on is it'll usually have some sort of LED lights or something like that. And depending on the keyboard, that might be more or less obvious. Some keyboards will have a whole bunch of RGB drum pads on it and that'll be really obvious when it doesn't have power or some of them might just have a little tiny red power LED at the top left that makes it a little bit obvi less obvious if you have power. So you just wanna check that. So now we've checked the power switch and now we go on to the next step that maybe we still don't have sound. Next thing we wanna try is swapping out the cables. So I'm gonna grab a new USB cable, a backup one that's hopefully new and I know works. And I'm gonna swap it out with this one and see if that makes it work. And if it does, then we're good. If not, We'll look at the next one, which would be swapping MIDI controllers. So that would be potentially a bigger one. That might sound like it's a big thing, but I feel like it's always good to have some type of backup just in case for these situations. If you've gone through these steps and you see, I still don't have anything and I know that all of this is plugged in and should be working, the next thing you can try is swapping in a MIDI controller and seeing if that one works. From there, if we're still not getting power, we're gonna go on to the next step. Is the concert receiving MIDI signal? I'm gonna go over to the main stage concert. We're gonna check out what things we can look at to make sure that it's getting signal. Here's my main stage concert. And the really nice thing, in every single concert by default in edit mode, I can look up here at the top and there's this little MIDI in window. And so every time I'm gonna push a key, I'm gonna see up there at the top, it's showing me that MIDI information. That's a note being pressed. If main stage isn't receiving MIDI signal, nothing is gonna happen right here. So that's gonna be the first one I wanna check over some type of keyboard here in this workspace because potentially it could be getting MIDI signal, but maybe the assignment or their routing just got changed in layout mode. So I'm gonna check for that MIDI signal just to guarantee if there is anything going into the concert, it's gonna show up in that window at the very top. So back to the flow chart. We checked if it's receiving MIDI signal and we say no, we're gonna check that keyboard assignment in layout mode and just make sure that everything's signed correctly. But if it is and the keyboard's moving, then we're gonna go to yes. And now the next thing is we're gonna check the correct audio input slash output is selected. So now we're gonna go back to our main stage concert. And I'm looking here, I'm gonna go up to the top left where it says main stage, go to settings and then click audio. And now in here, I'm gonna check this audio output and audio input and make sure these are correct. So for me, they're correct. If they weren't, I would click on these drop-down menus and select the correct one, whether it's the built-in output or whatever your audio interface is, that that is selected. And a quick way to get there, if you are in this sort of setting where time is of the essence, you can just push command comma and then click audio and now you're able to check. So it's super quick. Now, back to the flow chart. So we've checked the audio input output is selected and we go here and maybe it's a no. So now we wanna open the preferences, select the correct one from the drop down menu like we just did. 
But now we go over here to the other side and we say, okay, I've checked it and it is correct and I'm still not getting sound. Next thing I'm gonna look at is the master mute on. So back here in my main stage concert, that master mute is gonna be up here at the very top right. We have this little speaker. If that looks like that, if it has a slash through it and it's turned dark gray, that means that your master mute is on and you're not gonna get any sound out of your concert. And that one can be pretty annoying just because it's such a small little square and it doesn't even really signify itself in any sort of big way. It just goes from light gray to dark gray rather than maybe something like turning a bright red that would make it way more obvious if it was muted or not. So that's just always one you wanna keep your eye on is that master mute button. Now, back to the flow chart. Do master mute, it's on, yes. So now we can just turn it off by pressing M or clicking the speaker at the top right. But then we go master mute, is it on? No, and we're still not getting signal. So now we're pretty deep in this. We've gone through a few different levels and we're really trying to check through everything to see how we can get sound out of our concert. So we say no. And now we go on to the next one. Can you see audio levels coming out of the channel strips or the main output? So when I'm looking at my concert, I'm gonna push keys and now I'm gonna look here. This is the channel strip and this is my main output right here. And I'm checking, am I getting signal? And I'm gonna see these green lines moving right there. If I see the green lines, that means I'm getting signal. So there should be something coming out of main stage. So now we've gone through that step and we say maybe no, we don't see anything coming out of there. One of the things we wanna check is that the expression knobs are turned up and the channel strips aren't muted. So when I'm looking in that concert, the expression knob is this one up here at the very top. This is gonna be at the top of every software instrument channel strip. You're gonna see this expression knob. You wanna make sure that it's turned all the way up to 127, or at least it's whatever number that it should be for you. Cause maybe you are using the expression knob for something in your concert. You just wanna make sure that's correct. Cause sometimes this can get pulled all the way down. And that's another one that isn't totally obvious right away just because it's this little green thing. So it can be pretty easy to miss when it's pulled all the way down. So you just wanna check that and make sure that's where it should be. And then the other one would be down at the bottom is the mute button or potentially the solo button. This may be something solo that isn't making any sound. You just wanna check that both of these are off and nothing is muted or soloed. So now we've gone through that step and we say, can we see audio levels? And we say yes. So now this is kind of where we're getting to a bit of a last resort. We've gone through all of these steps. We've checked a bunch of things and we're still not getting sound. So this is basically the last resort situation is after we've checked everything before this is we've gone through this exhaustive list and we say, okay, last resort, let's just restart the computer and get everything booted back up which hopefully if you have a pretty up-to-date computer with an SSD and, and it runs pretty quickly, that shouldn't take too long. Usually a full restart to get back up and running will be no more than 30 seconds, maybe a minute at most to get everything back up and ready to make sound. And then once you've gone through all of that and you're still not getting sound, the most likely thing at that point is that it's something outside of main stage and you're not necessarily dealing with something that is inside of your concert. Is now at this point, this could be something at the, at the mixer level or the front of house or anything like that is maybe something there got muted or maybe something on their end, there's an XLR cable, there's a, there's a whatever is now causing an issue. So now working through that list, this tackles most of the problems. There might be some like fringe outside, like 1% type of issues is maybe you're using some sort of third party library or something like that, that might cause issues. But for the most part, going through this flow chart should get you through like 99% of issues that you might run into in main stage. The other thing you'll notice over time too when you're going through these is for your personal situation, you'll notice that there's a common, uh, a common fatal point in your setup that causes flaws often. So if you are running into an issue, hopefully over time you can start to realize on your own, oh, for me, usually it's this thing. It's usually like this thing like went wrong. It's, oh yeah, maybe the, the mass to mute often gets turned on on my thing or whatever thing and maybe you could just skip to that step a little bit sooner but if you are in a situation where you're you're kind of panic a little bit and you want a little bit of structure and to be able to just go through a step-by-step -step process this flow chart can be really helpful that's it for this video hopefully this can help out with some of your troubleshooting issues inside of main stage if this video was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you give it a like and you click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one